Hey, what's up, everybody? So I saw this cool B-roll shot recently, and it made me think of a cool effect I haven't done in a while. So to me, what stands out in this shot are his red pants. And there's a way with a chroma key to make those red pants really shine out. The first thing I'm going to do is I'll just go into color correction mode, take out all the saturation, maybe add a little contrast to make the background a little interesting, because this background is going to be seen on V1, and we're going to cut out this red pants on V2. So now I'll duplicate this layer onto V2, and I will lose that color effect. I'm going to color correct this clip and make the red a little brighter, right? I could bring out the saturation, even make it a little more red. And another thing I'm going to do to make this pop a little more, I know some people don't have these options, but I'm going to throw in film effect to even make that red stand out. Look at it pop so much and the background and whatnot. But now I want to keep just that red and get the background to be black and white. So what I'm going to do there, I'm going to go to key, RGB keyer, and then I'm going to bring in this RGB keyer, which is basically a chroma key. I'm going to alt drag it on there. And when I go into effect mode here, first thing I'm going to do with the eyedropper is grab some of that bright red color. And the biggest thing you need to do, otherwise you'll be spinning your wheels saying, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. You have to hit this button called revert. We, we want this to key out, not the background, right? So now once you have that, wow, that cool redness, everything else is black and white, you can mess around with the gain a little bit and the softness and even the blur and the erode a little bit, right? To get to a level where you want it to be. So there was a movie 20 years ago called like, Pictureville, no, Pleasantville, it was called Pleasantville. They made the whole movie black and white, but they accented the colors in every single scene for the whole movie. And it's kind of been forgotten by now, but I just saw, when I saw this shot, I was like, oh, that would be awesome, right? So the whole Pleasantville effect is like, it's totally black and white, has no color in it. But I thought with this, you know, when you mess around with the sliders, I actually like seeing a little bit of the red in the brick. When I add a speed ramp to it, one of the speed ramps I actually gave you in an old video, that is a pretty cool way to make a B-roll shot look. And I'm thinking about, and this popped in my head because I saw another editor do this and it's fine, right? But it does not pop, not as visually interesting as this with his red pants really popping out of the screen in a sense and the coolness of the brick going behind him. Because you know, when I started editing 20 years ago, the, the equipment was so expensive. The only way to really learn it was if you were working on a job to be on this expensive Equipment. I'll think about this. The price has gone down so much that, to be honest with you, a B-roll shot for someone just to lay this B-roll shot of this guy walking and do a slight color effect on it. I don't know. It's pretty much anybody can do that. But to make you stand out as an editor, you want to be the editor that comes up with this that the producer didn't even think of and says, wow, look at that shot. You're taking what they shot and adding value. That, I think, is the key here in 2020, you've got to stand out to do straight cuts. It's very hard to stand out in this day and age if you're doing straight cuts and basic effects. So I hope that anybody that watches this video, the next time they see some shot with a really bright color in it, they think of this video and use that little RGB key or effect I just showed you and really make that one color stand out. That will make the video stand out and that will make you stand out and that will make your beer so much more enjoyable. I got a great recommendation for a beer. I won't be in Spain until this virus ends, but when I am in Spain, the first thing I'm going to do is drink this, and I'm not even going to try to say it because I'll say it completely wrong, but this Session IPA from Spain. Thank you so much to Roberto. Hopefully next time I'm in Spain, we'll drink this beer together. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you use this tip in one of your videos. Definitely by the end of this year, or if not in 2021, definitely. If you know someone that needs to learn Avid from scratch, go to avidbeer.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.